<clears throat> okay, welcome back to my next uh, root tutorial. Um, in this video, I want to go back to the file which we have created, not in the last video, but in the second last one. And um, there I will show you how to add some decorations, which I call it, to this histogram. Yeah? Uh, so for example, text, arrows, uh, lines, and so on, to um, make some parts uh, vis better visible and also to attract people to look at your uh, plots. Okay, um, for this reason we will copy the file which we have made before, 2.9c and make uh, now already 2.11 uh, we have reached, I think. So um, we can open the file and we can uh, rename the function and if we run it, we should still get the same histogram which we created there, exactly, after all the beautification took place. So um, <clears throat> now let's suppose we want to insert a line uh, from here to here, which means from 0, 20 to 15, 20. Um, yeah, at the moment there is no um, uh, physics background behind it, just we want to learn how to create such a line. So maybe this could be a baseline for a signal or and so on. Um, so I think the best idea is to do this um, after uh, everything else has been created. Uh, if we create it or if we draw it before the histogram is drawn, it will be in the background. So we have to draw it at the end. And uh, yeah, for, for lines, there is a very simple uh, command. So it's uh, basically or simple. Uh, yeah, the, la the name of the class is T line, and uh, let's call it just L uh, new T line. And then the syntax is like this: that first you set the um, minimum x value, which, as I said in the beginning, is zero. Then the minimum y value, which is constant twenty. Then the maximum uh, x value, and then again the maximum. Um, y value um, and like always the things are not shown until you are draw, drawing them so we have to write L draw and now we can run it and we see here a nice black line a horizontal line from 0 to 15 over the whole histogram um, of course uh, we can also uh, deal with this to make it uh, a little bit more uh, beautiful um, so we can increase, for example, the line width, width to 2. We can um, set the color. So we have not used orange so far, so maybe we can call it uh, K-Orange as a color name. And we see now here a very nice uh, line. So now we have created a line. Um, now in the next step, uh, what I usually use for my histograms are arrows uh, to highlight some specific point in a histogram or in a graph. Um, so for this you need the class T arrow. But before we do this, we will take a look where to point with this arrow. Let's suppose we have here one outstanding bin and we want to highlight this bin especially. So here, if you click on the x-axis and you let the mouse button clicked, then you can zoom in. And let's suppose we want to highlight this bin. So um, this would be um, uh, okay. Let's suppose we want to make the array, uh, the arrow, sorry, up to um, six point uh, four. Um, then we can we can either directly insert these values into the um, constructor of this arrow. Then it's basically hard written, but I want to show you now one method how to obtain this information from the histogram. So next time when you plot it with different uh, axes and scales, then you still have the same layout. So um, first uh, we define um, the x value. Uh, let's call it maybe x0. And um, as we said, maybe we can 6.4 or 6.3 we can use. And uh, then we need, um, before we can calculate the y value from this, which means the um, bin height, we first have to, um, we first have to know which bin it is. So 
int bin is equal to and then root provides a command for this in the histogram class which is called find bin x0 so um, it it finds the bin for the value x0 and then we can use the command uh, hist get bin content which is basically the bin height and uh, write then inside bin so then we know the x and y position to where the arrow should point uh, from where it should point this we can define uh, where it looks maybe the best for us so first we create an arrow uh, let's call it r uh, equal new t arrow um, from okay we just give some arbitrary values from 10 30 basically x min and y min exactly how for the line and uh, for the x and y position we choose x0 and y0 and as I said last time uh, nothing will be shown until you uh, explicitly draw it so we have to draw it with the draw command and here we see the arrow coming from 1030 to this bin uh, 6.3 and I would say something like 22 23 some okay um, uh, still the arrow is not looking so much nice uh, just a black uh, thin line so also for the arrow we can increase the line width uh, a little bit so let's suppose uh, we make it to 2 and uh, the head of this arrow was also not so much nice so um, we can maybe uh, change the size uh, there's a command set um, arrow size to control the head of the arrow I think the standard value is 0, 0, 005 and we want to make a little bit smaller so maybe we use 002 um, and the color maybe we can also change uh, to uh, make it even more beautiful so let's suppose we use K blue because the blue color we have not used so far and now we can see very nice uh, arrow uh, pointing from there where we defined the values to exactly that bin and of course the arrow by itself has no meaning as long as we not as we are not defining what um, what meaning it should have so we have to write a text also um, and for this we have two possibilities either we use the class t text or we use t latex I use normally t latex because um, as the name uh, implies we can also use latex commands to show some Greek letters some mathematics and so on um, yeah so just call it uh, maybe t for text uh, new t latex and um, yeah like most of the objects which we uh, insert or like most of the decorations first we have to set the x value um, we want to have it exactly on that position from where the arrow points so it should be 10 30 and then we have to uh, write a text so for example important point uh, uh, sorry um, t uh, and then again draw command now we can run it and we see here the arrow pointing to here and also the name of this point important point um, yeah of course uh, one can also adjust the font size the height and so on this this I'm not showing at the moment maybe I can make a later video about this and um, uh, you can of course add many more decorations a uh, root has a lot of uh, geometrical um, bodies included you can include you can insert uh, circles rectangles you can really also make drawings with canvases this I will also maybe show in one of the later videos but for the time being I think we should uh, stop here in the next video then I will tell you how to use um, root files to store histograms to restore histograms plot them with plot scripts for example how um, to define uh, Maybe this I will do earlier, how to define uh, your own functions, um, which you then can use for numerical operations like integrating, differentiating, find roots of equations and so on. So um, there's still a lot of uh, work to do, a lot many things to discuss. 
So I will see which, which will come next. If you have any further questions, of course, you can always write it into the comments. Otherwise, um, I would say uh, please stay tuned. Um, subscribe if you have not done so far. And um, yeah, I, I promise that I will make the next video as soon as possible. Um, see you later.